Good evening, guys. How are you? Happy Tuesday. Fine. Is it Tuesday today? Yes, right? Yes. <laughs> I feel like I get confused. Monday through mm -hmm. Thursday, I get confused. The only day I know it's Friday. <laughs> mm -hmm. How was your day? How are you, Mauricio? I'm fine. Thank you. Doing good. Are you are not in your office like yesterday? Yeah. Today, today you are not in the work like yesterday, Mauricio? Yes, I was. Oh. All day, very, very pressure. <laughs> really busy. All right. Okay. Hopefully, you can participate tonight. <laughs> so we will. Yeah. Yeah. Ready. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Nice. Hi, Jose. How are you? Hi, Miss. I'm just fine. <laughs> nice. Is it you that have a kid? There is a kid? I hear a kid that say, oh, that's Yes. Me. Yes. Oh, my God. My daughter is here. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, <Mr. laughs> He's also training. <laughs> Hi. That's really cool. Hi, Mayra. How are you? Hi. Good evening. How are you? I'm, I'm on time. <laughs> nice. Finally. Yes. I feel like this month it's almost over, but it's, it doesn't want to go away. So <laughs> we still have like, we are on the 22nd. So yeah. So today it's basically Thursday. I know it's Tuesday on the, on the week, but it's Thursday on the program for us, right? Like we, we, we finished the week. Um, I think we will finish unit two tomorrow, Wednesday. So that that'll be like our Friday. Like we will be finishing the week. Um, for tonight we have different topics. So I apologize for the noise. <laughs> um, I just wanted to check with you guys how you are doing in the platform. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you. Um, how you are looking in the platform so you can see how you are advancing or not advancing in the case of some of you. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna, we're going to check the platform and the, the scores. Okay. So here we have for Carlos Vladimir, we have that he has week one and week two completed the homeworks. Wait, one could be higher, but we're gonna accept it like that. Then Cesar, we're missing, we're pending week one and two from the platform. Same for Dido. Eduardo has completed week one, pending week two. We have until tomorrow for that one, so not in a rush. And week one is completed by Emerson. Fatima is pending, Jonathan is pending. Then Jorge, has completed week one and two from the homeworks. Jose Carlos, that's you. Uh, that's, is that you? No, right. So Jose Carlos has 96 and first, pending to complete the, the second week. Jose Lopez, 92, only the first week were pending the second week homeworks. Same for Juan Carlos. Okay, so most, almost everyone has completed the first week. Some of you, you need to take it again. Um, for example, in this case, uh, Juan Carlos or Carla, you need to retake the activities where you were with lower score, just retake them so that you can recover your scores, right? And then the ones that are not, that have not done the second week, we need to start working on that. We are supposed to be completing week two or homework two in the platform by tomorrow, Wednesday, which is when we complete the second week or the unit two, okay? Because of that, we are going to check right now the homeworks that we have for the unit number two, okay? And we're gonna be checking them all. Yes, all right, so 2.2 was the corresponding the first of the week number two, right? And then we have, for example, number one, it says, Amazon must ensure products are delivered within two days. 
if the customer can get it within two days from some other company. Do you think this is the right place or the right condition? Must ensure products are delivered within two days. Right condition. It would be right condition, right? Let's check. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys the answers so you can complete this. And we have it here. All right, we have the one, number one would be right condition. So please take note, right? I'm gonna show you the answers, but take note or take a screenshot or, uh, or a picture, whatever works for you, but make sure that you complete it, okay? Then number two would be right place. Number three would be right quantity. Number four would be right customer. Number five would be the right price. And then for the second section, it would be for certain, for certain. Number two would be not to my knowledge. Number three would be it is effective to hire more than one third party. I doubt. Number four, to the best of my knowledge. Okay, to the best of my knowledge, number four. And number five, it's very unlikely. Okay, again, I'm showing you guys the answers to help you speed up, right? To help you speed up the process of com completing your platforms, right? So if you have not completed the first exercise for week two, you have the answers here right now. Just make sure you complete it, okay? Then we're moving to homework 2.5, also from the second week, unit two, right? And then I'm gonna show you guys. And we have, so on 2.5, again, take a screen, Take a picture or write down the answers, whatever works for you, but make sure that you do this, okay? That you complete it. So I don't wanna see any 50s or 40s or 60s in your grades in the platform if I am literally giving you the answers. Everyone should have 100, right? So number one, answer, private fleet management. Number one would be 2.5, private fleet management. So you go here. Private player management. Okay. Number two would be small package service. Okay. So you go and you select it. Number three would be cargo insurance. And then number four, it says freight, uh, freight claim insurance. So freight claim insurance. And then transportation. All right, and then for the second section, you have a company that organizes shipment for preparation, freight forwarding service, okay? Freight forwarding service, again, I'm gonna repeat this, I'm gonna say it one more time. Do take pictures, take a screenshot, or write down the answer, whatever works for you, but make sure you complete the sub platform Okay, the second week, unit two. And I'm giving you the answers, so all of you should have 100, okay? Then for number two, it provides a point system to score green building design and construction. And that would be lead certification, okay? Number two, lead certification. Number three, products from a supplier. That would be cross-docking capability, cross-docking capability, right? Then on number four, set of procedures to recover and protect a business, disaster recovery plan. That would be the answer for number four, disaster recovery plan, okay? So with that, you would have completed section 
number two or question number two, homework two from the second week. Okay, now we're going to move to the third homework from the week, which corresponds to the class from last night. Okay, so in this one, and I'm gonna show you guys again, so you can take either notes. So, on 2.8, okay, this is for homework 2.8. Again, be sure to answer exactly the way you're seeing. On number one, it says the answer would be option, uh, option two, okay? On number two, the answer is number four, okay? On number three, your answer would be number three. And number four, your answer would be number one, okay? Take a picture, a screenshot, memorize it, write it down. Whatever you do, make sure that you use this info, right? That's why I'm giving it to you so that you can get a hundred in the home weeks. And then for the next section, it says select the best alternative based on the definitions below, right? So the first one would be distribution. Number two, it says supply chain. Number three shows inventory management. Number four says logistics. And number five, maintenance, okay? And then you're going to select again, send, and you will have completed your questions or your homework for the week number two homework number three, which corresponds to the class from last night, okay? So for tonight's class, we have pending 2.1, 2.11, and 2.12, okay? Those, we're going to, to do them tomorrow. Those two, we're gonna complete them tomorrow. This one is for tonight's class, okay? And then also we will have, if we go back, in section two, you will also find that there is a midterm exam, okay? The midterm exam, make sure to also complete it or we can work it together, either tomorrow or Thursday, right? It, it will depend how we're doing. But as of right now, just a reminder, right? Work on the platform because most of you only have one week completed and the other one is like half and half, right? So just on that. So now I'm gonna share with you guys, we are gonna, do a review tonight. We have a review pending, and that one's gonna be for person progressing, right? So, oh, give me a moment. I'm gonna stop sharing. We need the sound. All right. You should be able to see the screen with the hood right now. You know what to do already, right? Go to the hood, triple W dot IT, enter the pin, enter your name, or scan the QR code, right? Enter the pin and scan and enter your name. All right, let's get ready. And I'm gonna send the link to WhatsApp also. All right, we have six people connected out of 13. So we are expecting oh. at least 10 people connected to the game. Okay, let's see, we have eight people. We need at least 10 people. We have nine people connected. We're gonna need one more person so we can begin the game. 
game slash review. Okay. We're gonna need one more minute for everyone to finish connecting. Remember the instructions. You can go to www.kahoot.it, enter your PIN, and enter your name to participate. Or you can scan the QR code. It will take you to the same web page. Enter your PIN and enter your name to participate. We have 14 people connected. We need at least 10 to participate in the game. So we have even numbers. All right. Okay, it's 8.18, so we are going to begin with the nine people that are connected, okay? And tonight, as I told you, it's about present progressive, the review we're doing. Okay. Correct a structure for present progressive affirmative. Read carefully. If you are not sure, try to make a sentence. Select the correct structure for present progressive affirmative. Five seconds. What? Well, one person forgot. <laughs> one person forgot, but most of you, the majority, remember the correct structure, right? Subject plus the verb to be plus the verb in ing form. And the rest can be a complement, right? For example, we are reviewing the class. We are checking a topic. She is listening to the teacher. They are having been, right? So whenever in doubt, you can create sentences to see if it works, right? All right, and Kenya is going on the first place. She was the fastest to answer. Number two, we're going with the negative version. Select the correct structure for present progressive negative. Got it correct. Yay, no one forgot. <laughs> These are good news that everyone remembers the structures. Subject, verb to be, plus not, plus the verb in ing. The rest is just complemental, right? For example, we are not studying. He is not playing. My friends are not busy. Right? Very good. Let's check the scoreboard. Okay, can you keep me in the first place? We have Bernardo second and Jorge in the third place. Let's go with number three. Let's talk about correct structure for present progressive. Yes or no question. Present progressive, yes or no questions.
Oh, there's a moment that was not it. Just a minute, kind of. <laughs> here, we have completed. So, oh, we have different here. We have nine and three people. Three people didn't remember <laughs> where that the structure goes. Remember, in this case, yes or no questions always begin with the auxiliary, right? But in this case, the auxiliary is the verb to be. So the questions, the yes or no questions will begin with the verb to be. For example, is he working in the office? Are they visiting Panama, right? Always try to make a sentence with the structure. If it works for you, if the sentence comes out correct, then that is the right structure, right? You're good. Let's see right now. Tanya, keeping in the first place, really good. Edward on the second and Bernardo going to third. Put him move from third to the fourth. And Carla is coming up. Nice, Carla, coming up. Now we're going with number four. Correct structure for present progressive information. Question. We're talking information questions now. We're just gonna finish time. And we have three that were almost there, but forgot. <laughs> and then 10 that got it correct. Yes, the structure is WH word plus the verb to be plus the subject and the verb in ING. It, there usually is a complement, but if there isn't, not a problem, right? But this is the structure. For example, where is she studying, okay? When are you coming home, right? Depending on how you use it, you, depending on what piece of information you need, when, why, what, where, how, who, whom, et cetera, right? So we're gonna check this part book right now. Okay, Kenya keeping the first, Edward moving up to the second, Jorge recovering the third place, very good. And then Nelly, we have her on the third, on the fourth place, and Juan Carlos on the fifth. Nice job, coming up. Okay, we're going with question number five. You can speak in present progressive without using the verb to be. Okay, just a few seconds. And oh, one, two people. <laughs> okay, sometimes it's possible. No, it is never possible, right? The answer was false. You cannot speak in present progressive without the verb to be. The main part of the present progressive, the auxiliary in progressive, is the verb to be. So you cannot speak in progressive without the verb to be, okay? Let's move on to the scoreboard. And then Edward coming from the third place, moved to the second and now right on top on the first. Getting on the second, Jorge keeping the third place, very good. Juan Carlos coming up from the fifth, now he's on the fourth, <laughs> nice. And let's go with question number six. 
select the incorrect sentence. Select the incorrect sentence. Okay. So we have one people got the blue, three people, one person got the blue, three people got the yellow. And yes, the incorrect was this one because it's missing. What part is missing? Exactly. It's missing the auxiliary, right? Carlos and Lucy work in New York. In New York, it's incorrect. All the others, they were correct, right? Very good. Let's move on to the scoreboard. Okay, Kenya recovery <laughs> the first place. Jorge coming from third to second. Very good. And then let's go with question number seven. Again, select the incorrect sentence. Okay, divided answers again. <laughs> okay, number number well, color red. Louis is traveling. It's totally correct. <laughs> that one is correct. Then we have the G, the green one. The green one is also correct. Louis is currently traveling. The incorrect sentence here was Louis is currently travel. Because if I am speaking in progressive, the verb needs to be in I and V. Okay. So yes, this was the incorrect. And now to finish, let's check the scoreboard. And we're going with question number eight. We're going, this is the opposite. You're going to select the correct sentence. Select the correct sentence. Teacher, what the meaning driving? Driving. We saw this on Friday last week, I think, or Monday. Driving, prosperar. Driving, Thank prosperar. You. Mm -hmm. All right. So we got three, 12 people with the correct one. One person forgot that company is, in this case, singular, right? If I were saying the people from the company are driving, yes the people from the company. But if I only mentioned the company, it's like if there was a singular, right? The company is thriving. So yes, it was the correct one. Very good. So let's see the scoreboard. And now we're going with the last. Select the correct one. Select the right one, the correct one.
Okay, two people got it wrong, 11 people got it right. <laughs> so the green one is incorrect. Our friend is plural. So we cannot use the verb to be um, it has to be our, right? Our friends are swimming in the pool. Very good to the other 11 ones. Nice. Let's check the final podium. Bernardo in the third place, very good. Jorge keeping the second. And surprise, surprise, Kenya. <laughs> Kenya had the first place all the game. On the runner up, we have Eduardo and, oh, I lost it. All right. <laughs> nice job, everyone. Great game. Very good review. Okay, we're going to stop it here. And all right, so I'm going to show you guys the students manual. Bear with me for a moment. And we're going to go to page 18 to complete this section, page 18. Let me know if you can see the screen. Too. Can you guys see the screen already? Yes, no. What do you say, Tisha? Can you see? Yeah? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, guys, we have one of the most popular concepts of logistics management is the concept of the seven R, which we saw yesterday. So in this exercise, we're going to match the headlines, this one, we're going to match them to the corresponding examples, all right? And for this one, I'm going to give you guys 10 minutes to work within the breakup room, all right? So you're going to work with your classmates and you're going to select the correct one, right? So again, page 18, exercise number four, you're going to do it in groups in the breakout room. You're going to have 10 minutes. You can go in right now. You have to match the right product to the right place. Okay. Pueden ingresar a la sala para completar el ejercicio y decidan entre ustedes cuál corresponde con cuál. Let's go in, please. Si hay alguna razón por la que alguien no puede ingresar a la sala, déjeme saber, por favor. Hello. Hello. Uh, we can share the screen. <laughs> oh, give me one moment. I don't know why this keeps happening. Okay. There. Try now. Okay. <laughs> Yay, perfect. See you in 10 minutes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Ay, Juan José, usted no estaba en ninguna sala, ¿verdad? Hola, no, no, teacher, por lo que le comentaba la vez pasada. Ok, no worry, solo estaba verificando. ¿Sí? Ok, ok. Ya van a regresar ahí, unos minutos. Ok.
Hello. Hi, Nelly. Um, my my laptop turned off, but I'm safe in room number one. Oh, okay. Don't worry, Nelly. They are coming back right now, so we're just gonna get wait like ten seconds, and they will start. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we're all back to the session and we're going to begin hearing your answers, all right? So let me just share the screen here. And okay, so we had seven different options. So room number room number one, um, we have Jose Bernardo, Wendy Maricela, and Nelly told us she had a problem with the laptop. So let's see what do you have for number one. Please read it. Read the, the box in number one and tell us which is your answer and why you think that. Okay, Miss, uh, in the first one, we have right condition. Okay, uh, you have to read it, from, you have to read the box and then you okay. tell me. Your, huh? Amazon must ensure products are delivered within two days. If the customers can get it within two days from someone or other company. All right, so you think that is? Right condition. Very good. Okay, can you explain a little bit why you think it's right condition? In this case, Amazon has to ensure that the, the, they have a condition that is a place of two days to deliver some products. So they have to uh, accomplish that with that uh, statement, I think. All right. Our, All right. To comply with that uh, statement. Okay. Okay. Good point. Thank you. All right. So now we're going to check room number two. And then room number two, um, your chance would be with question number two. You have to read the box and then tell us what your answer is and why do you think that is the answer. We have Cesar, Emerson, and Juan Carlos. Um, Dell must have a strict controls and process to ensure that products ordered on their website are delivered to the right location. Uh, in this case, uh, we think that is a uh, right place. Okay, right place. Why do you think that is? Uh, yes, because it's right place because in this case, Dells uh, has to have uh, uh, a strict controls because uh, it's in a website and in a website, uh can uh we can found some um virus how how do you say virus 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 viruses and, virus and in another um i mean as a <laughs> all types of virus <laughs> all right that's a good answer thank you room number two very good okay so now we're gonna go with room number three and here we have Eduardo, Mayra, and Kenya. And you have to read box number three and tell us what is your answer and why did you select that? Okay, room number three. Okay. Russell has to meet quantity requirements from the customer 
and ensure that the quantity of the product is not affected by perishability. 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 Perishability, uh, que se puede echar a perder, correct? Mm -hmm. the, the end of life of growth, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly, the end of life of a product. Okay, we think uh, the answer is um, right quantity. Okay, why? Why do you think that is the answer? Um, because all of products in the market uh, um, need um, put the, the how do you say fetch <laughs> serious date uh, date date of uh -huh, date mm -hmm. of caducity mm -hmm. is very important for the, the customer know the the product is available to consume or not. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's a good answer. Very good. Point number three, room number three. Thank you. Okay. And now we're gonna listen to room number four. And room number four, we had Jorge Antonio, Jose Romero, and Mauricio Velasquez. You if you can help us guys, help us with four and five, please. Read the boxes, tell us your answer, and why do you think that is the answer? Okay, number four and number five. Okay. Go ahead, Mauricio, do it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, and number four, a local, local caption manufacturer might sell caption to retire in package and label, label bottle, and to a book consumer in big camps is the number is right customer. Okay, explain a little bit why. Uh, is when the company uh, is very important, the package or different package, but uh, and, and life and label bottle or to a book by the consumer, different packets and the consumer. All right, and okay. number five. Mm. Number five, right price, Miss. And uh, Samsung, let's, uh -huh. let's read Samsung this. must ensure that their models are charged with the corresponding <laughs> prices to the retailers, stores, and consumer. And my opinion is, uh, the product must be in the high percent of disponible of the disponibility that you can show to the consumer because if you are selling a, a cell phone and it isn't charged when the buyer try it doesn't work right and mm -hmm. so the the person are looking for a product that works as well right yeah exactly that's correct very good good answer it's four and five room number four all right so now we're gonna listen to room number five and here we have jonathan Abigail and Carla Sofia, and that would be questions six and seven. You have to read the box, give us your answer, and explain why you selected that. Yeah, I I explained the number six. <laughs> and okay. Maybe Jonathan help me with the number seven. And number six, uh, products that the customers need either today or in the future. Uh, smartphones, laptops, HDTVs, uh, etc. We choose um, right product because I think it uh, means that uh, this paragraph 
means uh, that is the necessary to show the customers what they need. Maybe. <laughs> okay, that's right. That's actually very good and very good explanation. And number seven, please. Jonathan? Uh, we choose a uh, right customer. Okay. H-U-L, let's read that. H-U-L has the warranty that sufficient amounts of products are available in the warehouse to ensure right time delivery to customers. Uh, I think the... So, yeah, maybe the company uh, has a, a good terms with the customers. <laughs> okay. Maybe. All right. So, HUL has to guarantee sufficient. In which one you selected? For number seven, which one did you select? Ah, oh. right customer. Okay. Um, who who else has the same on number seven? Everybody selected right customer. I. Oh well, in your case, because Jonathan didn't didn't respond, right? Mm -hmm. All right. In, well, in our case, we choose because the is the the word. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, was, that was the remaining word. <laughs> okay. <Or> the <laughs> <seven. laughs> but okay, by elimination. Okay, that's good. So listen, guys. I'm going to take attendance. Uh so please be ready. You can just stay here or present, but please be ready when I call your name. Um Today is the 22nd. So we have Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Dairo Jonathan Fuentes. Eduardo Antonio Magaña. I am here. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, Miss. Thank you. Fatima Gabriela Loza. Jonathan Jose González. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López. Present. Thank you. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Thank you. Jose César Lemo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofia Argueta. Present. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Thank you, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present, teacher. All right, thank you. So, guys, we're going to be checking how Amazon delivers products to your... So, I'm going to ask you, do you prefer to watch the video separately in the breakout room, or do you prefer to read the process? I'm asking you this, I'm telling you this, because yesterday... When I was uploading the video from the cat, YouTube marked us like, because the video that I showed you yesterday was from Ted Ed. So we have to be careful with, with showing videos because of the copyright in YouTube, right? So we have two options. We can read the process or I can send you the link in WhatsApp and you watch it in the groups. And then you tell me your comments when we come back. I'll give you 10 minutes or 15 to watch it. What do you prefer?
do you prefer to read or do you prefer to watch the videos in your breakout rooms with your classmates and then come back and give me your summary, your opinions of the video? You will in watch my case, it. I prefer mm -hmm. watch video. Okay, what about the others? I prefer read. Okay, we have one and one. <laughs> we have a tie. We need more opinions to untie this. The third one is going yeah. to win. I'm sorry? I agree with the uh, reading. With reading. Okay, we're going to be reading it then. Bear with yeah. me for a moment. Watch video, Let's teacher. Go. Read. Okay. <laughs> we decided it's going to be a read now. We had two against one. So listen, there are nine there are nine um, boxes to read. So we have a space for nine different people to read, okay? So let me just close here. I'm gonna share the screen with you. And you can just raise your hand and I will be assigning you, right? For example, this section, this is the beginning, okay, of the course. And this is like the introduction. We're going to join a person and that person is going to take us through the process, right? So and each one of you is going to be reading number one, number two, number three, number four, right? It's not a lot. If you see it's they are small paragraphs, so it's it's easy to read. So who wants to begin with the introduction? We need two volunteers for one for this one and one for this one. Okay, Maira help us with the introduction, please. And then Jorge help us with the second part of the introduction here. Okay. John Learning Area Manager Hassan Davis for a peek inside an Amazon fulfillment, fulfillment center in San Marco, Texas. And then find out how to tour a facility near you. I joined Amazon in 2020 to help launch a new site in from Wayne, Indiana. Before I joined, I joined. <laughs> I recently retired from serving 24 years in the army with a large part of my work focused on logistics. So Amazon was the holy grail for me. I like working at my site in Indiana, but when the opportunity came allowed to help train employees at the fulfillment center in San, Mar in San Marcos, Texas, I jumped. I was stationed in several cities in Texas during my time in the military, and I always knew I wanted to come back. I moved here with my wife and three kids and we're loving, we're loving it. Everything from the weather to the cost of living. All right, let's go with the second one. What happens? As a learning area manager at an Amazon fulfillment center, it's my responsibility to make sure on frontline employees get the training they need to deliver for a customer and excel in their career careers. I become very familiar with every part of the fulfillment process through my work. It's a huge team effort with a lot of moving parts. Here's how it works. All right. Now we're going to start with the step. Okay, we need one volunteer for each step. There are seven steps, so let's begin. Cesar, help us with a step number one, please. And Carla, help us with a step number two, please. Let's begin. Products arrive at the fulfillment center. The first step is called is bound. This is where products from manufacturers and sellers arrive at our fulfillment center. Or inbound team outload the product and add each item to a yellow tote that about two feet long and a little over 
a foot wipe. The tortoises are then transported to the stall station where they will be organized and stored. Thank you. Number two, each product is placed in a pot in where it's stored until it's full shape. Employees remove each item from the totem, then place it in a coated bin within a large yellow store store. We call these pots a product store in the pots until they are purchased. A small, flat, mobile robots, robots find and retrieve the pots as items are purchased. Uh, <clears throat> the mobile robots are guided by 2D barcodes on the floor of the filament center as they move uh, <laughs> through how the building kind of like robot, robotic street size. The technology in this area also keeps a lot of beach eating storage in the pot so our tracking system uh, knows exactly where items are located in the fulfillment center. All right, let's talk about pronunciation first. The inbound. This word inbound, the first one, right? And then, oh, okay. So number one, and number one, they say that they use um when they purchase the products from the manufacturer, right? When Amazon purchases the products to sell them, inbound means that it's incoming, como ingresando, ingresando, right? So it says the inbound team unloads the products and adds each item to a yellow tote. This is what they call a tote. It's like a box, but they call them totes, okay? And then it says that they are transported to the stow station. Do you know what is a stow? Este verbo ya se los había dado. Stow. Stow es apilar. Poner una cosa sobre la otra, a stow or a stowing, right? So they fill the, the boxes and they, they stow them one on top of the other one, right? That's the first step. And then it says that the employees on here, and for the second, we have pronunciation, okay? Um, this word in American English, you're going to say mobile, mobile. Okay, in British English is mobile. Okay, so you can see both. Both are correct, but the common one in English is mobile. Mobile cell phone, mobile robots, right? And then fulfillment. Fulfillment. Okay. Fulfillment center. Centro de completado. And then we have the other word here. No six exactly. <laughs> Throughout. Throughout is uh, the other word. Throughout. This is the pronunciation. And throughout means a lo largo de o a través de. Right? Throughout. Puede ser a lo largo de algo o a través de algo. Throughout. Okay? All right. So it says they take everything, all the items that are inside this, inside these totes, they take them and they put them in pods. Pods are pods. If you're going to check it, it's como cápsula, una cápsula. Pero ellos le llaman pod a este podrito donde están guardando los pods. Pods, right? Those are pods for them. Okay? So, when, and then you have the other word, retrieve. Retrieve means to take out. Es parecido a withdraw, retirar. Retrieve es como sacar algo, right? So, the robot takes the things from these pods when the people buy them on the internet, right? So those are step one and two. And let's go with step three and four. We need two volunteers for this one, please. We need two volunteers, one for step three and one for step four. Okay, Mauricio, help us with number three, please. And we need yeah. one more person for number four. 
Just a moment. <clears throat> Emerson, help us with number four, please. Okay. Start. Yes, please. Yeah, okay. Number three. You, your item continues its journey through the facility after you place your order. After you place your order, uh, mo, mo, what do you say, teacher? Mobile. Mobile. Mobile robot brain to pull containing your item. Item. Item to the pickup station. The employee at the station is directed, directed by a shining light, shiny light to pick the item. You order from the pole. The item is checked for the damage. 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 Damage and then place into yellow. Tutti. Tote. Tote. The tote has physical and virtual map, so we always know where the item is, which within the full payment center. After the top is full, either by way or dimension. The employee push, push it on top overhaul belt and it sent to the patent station. Okay, number four, please. Meet it. And number four was Emerson. Emerson. Next up, the items arrive the, at the package station where it is get its box or back. Once a tot arrives at the packaging station, an employee is scanning it a bird cost court. So the system knows that items are inside. As is items is removed and scanned, the system suggests a box or back side basing on a product dimension. The employees select the correct packaging from their station and begin to bullying it with a tape. Our tape machine machining dispenses the uh, exact amount need to sell each box. On select a uh, barcode is a fixed one fill. Once sealed, a word code is affixed to the top of the package. This level containing the information needed to generate a shipping level at the next stop. Okay, the word is label, etiqueta, label. Label. Mm -hmm. label. All right, so on step, remember step number one, Amazon purchases the products that they're going to sell. They put it in totes and then they stow them one on top of the other. After that, they remove the products and they put it in pots, right? Little pots. When you buy the product, when you select the product online, the robot moves it from the pot and puts it into a box, right? That's step number three. That's the big station, right? And then it says the employee pushes the box. The robot puts the product into the box. The employee pushes the box and puts in a conveyor belt. The conveyor belt, la banda de transporte, right? Those are the conveyor belts. And sends the packing, the packing to the packing station, right? Then on step number four, somebody seals the box, puts the label, and then it's ready for shipping, right? Those are the four primary steps. Let's let's read five and six, please. We need two volunteers. Need two more volunteers for part for part five and six. For the ones that haven't read, now is your turn. Jonathan, help us reading number five, please. Step number five. 
And Juan Carlos, help us reading in step number six, please. Okay, number five. The box is scanned and labeled. labeled. The next step in the process is called a SLAM, which stands for Scan Label Apply Manifest. As package arrive at the SLAM machine, a bacon, bacon there, this, are scanned Barcode. and the package bacon this. Barcodes. Yeah. Barcodes. Mm -hmm. Barcodes are scanned and the package are weighed, weighed as as they pass over a skull. This skull can detect these uh, discrepancies between discrepancies. the discrepancies between the acceptable and actual weight of the iron. After the iron process over the skull, a robotic arm travels down to meet the uh, to meet the box. This is where the shipping label is printed and affixed to the top of the box with short blasts of air. One of the box left the slam machine. It's continue on our shipping department. All right, and number six. Your package travels through the facility to a shipping truck. Next up, boxer and level, level package. Label. Uh, label package uh, have the shipping sorted. They pass through a red scan scanner that read the label and assign each package a uh, shoot base on its destination. Package are then the uh, road and down to, to, to the tube. Uh, the leads to their shipping trailer. All right, so we're gonna check. Well, it says on step number five, right? After the person on step number four has already put the product in the packet, sealed the package and labeled it, then they pass it through this machine in the conveyor belt. They pass it through this machine that's going to scan and try to detect discrepancies, right? Between the expected and actual weight. Now, this one, weighted, weighted, is pesar. Como de sacarle el peso a algo, pesar, el verbo. Y luego, weight, es la palabra peso, por sí solo, right? So it's not the same. They are related to one another, but they are not the same, okay? And then when it passes the, the scale, it says that aerobic arm, puts the box ready to be shipped, right? Now, on the step number six, the machine has to dis um, distribute, depending on where is the package going, will they see, and you can see here, right? For example, this one might be going to California packages, this package is going to New York, this package is going to Indiana, this package is going to Texas. So then depending on your address, the machine is going to scan the address and is going to select in which container or which uh, truck they are going to send it, right? So that it gets to your house. And then finally, on step number seven, we need um, Jose Eduardo, if you could help us read first. Jose Bernardo, please. Okay. The outbound station features a line of base where large trucks pull up. Employees pack the trucks from floor to ceiling with Amazon boxes. We pack the trucks this way to prevent shifting and damage and to use fewer trucks to get closer to our climate, climate goals. This takes a little extra time, but it's worth, worth it to fulfill our customer promise. Once the items are located up in the truck, they move on the next steps beyond my facility. Most of the items that live here are head, headed to a sortation center where they will be routed to the proper outbound truck and sent 
to a delivery station before arriving on your doorstep. All right, very good. So the last step, it says that they load the trucks as we were checking, right? They load the containers. And from these big containers, they go to different warehouses where they distribute into smaller trucks and they go to the final destination so that everyone gets everything on time, right? So very efficient process, very large process also, right? So here's what we're going to do. Now that we already saw how the Amazon distribution center works, right? You're going to go into the breakout rooms and you're going to select, you're going to, you can select any product um, that you wish from any company. And you are going to explain the process of how you sell that product, how from the moment that you buy the product or that you manufacture, depending, you decide everything, right? So you are going to be a company. In your group, you have a company, you already sell some product. What you're going to do is to make a presentation to explain from letter A to letter C of the process of your product, right? Okay, for example, we have a company of uh, selling eggs. We have a company that sells fresh eggs, for example. Okay, the process starts, and this, you have to tell me from the very beginning until the last step. In our company, we only sell organic fresh eggs. So we don't have hormonal injected chickens. We only have chickens that eat natural and organic food, right? So that's where the process is start. We buy and select the best chickens in town and so on. And finally, after you explain everything, and finally we get the eggs in a truck to the different stores in San Salvador and the customers can buy them for a good price, okay? So you're going to invent a company. And you're going to explain how you produce the product or buy the product from letter A to letter C of the process, okay? From step one to step 10 of the process, okay? I'm going to open the rooms and I'm going to give you guys 15 minutes to work on this, okay? When we come back, you're going to explain what is your company's product and what is the process from the moment you create, design, or buy the product until the moment that the customer receives what is all the process involved. Okay. Salas están abiertas, pueden ingresar ahora. You will have 15 minutes starting now.
Okay, we're all back. Let's wait just a few seconds. And now we can begin. We are going to listen the first to the first conversation. This is from room number one. We have Jose Bernardo, Nelly Lilibeth, and Wendy Maricela. Go ahead, guys. Yes. Um, we we are going to talk to you. Well, no, I'm going to talk to you about the Mayanese. Um, the Mayanese is processed um, with the following raw, raw materials um, like uh, eggs, oil, and vinegar. And the seed number one is the raw material is based to the machine to be processed. Step number two, the mayonnaise is packed in jars and bags. Step number three, labeling and packaging is carried out. And step number four, finally, the final product is sent to wholesale customer and distributed to supermarkets. All right, very good. That's exactly the chain supply chain distribution for mayonnaise, right? From the first moment when you get the raw materials, as you mentioned earlier, and then step by step, how it gets to the customers, right? And let me ask you a question. In that process, how can you guarantee that the mayonnaise is not going to go bad? It's not going to be ruined when, transport, when transporting it. Because um, because mayonnaise is very delicate. It has to be a, a certain temperature, right? Yes. Um, yes. With the con quality control. Okay. Do you transport it in regular trucks or in refrigerated trucks? Wendy? <laughs> no, no, le entendí, teacher, perdón. <laughs> Do you transport mayonnaise in regular trucks or do you transport it in refrigerated trucks? In transport regular. regular. Mm, okay. So uh -huh. it might be pasteurized then. <laughs> yes, Very teacher. Good. In transportation okay. in Central America, mm -hmm. in transportation San Salvador, Panama, All right. so Costa it's Rica, okay. todo Central America. Nice. There are um, two types of uh -huh. product. Um, uh -huh. We just have to be careful because when we talk about food, it's very delicate that it could get ruined. It wouldn't transport it properly, right? So yes, Nelly, Nelly, Wendy, very good job with your presentation. Thank you. Now we're going to listen to room number two. And here we have Cesar, Emerson, and Juan Carlos. Go ahead, please. Uh, um, our company is a recycler and its process consistent of six steps. The first one is that uh, okay. the first step is recollection and um, distribution. The first step, the in the mechanical recycling process is recollection for customer material from homes, business, and other institutes or, or business. This can be done either local government or private company with the letter often a popular option for business. Another option is, is taking the plastic to the communi communal collection points, such as designed recycling bins or facilities. And then this make a simple uh, as a bottle bank or a, a strip corner or complex as a local west site. And the second is Sorting and categorizing. 
The next step in the plastic recycling process is sorting. There is a several different type of the plastic and we need to the separate each for other by recycle. Further to the, the plastic means to sort it by other properties as a color, thinking, and the pencil use. And finally, for the categorizing, is, is, this is done, uh, mentioned a recycling plant, and is processed in the, in the plant about the contamination uh, of the product. All right, so your company is a recycling company, right? Yeah. All right, very well detailed on how you process everything that you get, how you process it, how you sort it, and how you divide it in order to be reused or recycled, right? Very good, thank you for representing Emerson, room number two. And now we're gonna listen to room number three. We have Eduardo Magaña, Mayra Cecilia, and Kenya. Go ahead. Okay. I share my screen. Okay. <clears throat> okay, in this case, we're going to talk about a different type of business. Is um I think it's really interesting because you have to to make a lot of things and you can do a lot of things about yourself in the same time you have at your business. So the first step, ah, the 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 business is about slot machines. The the first is going to be really easy because you only have to find a right suppliers. In this case, is you really want to get some benefit that is going to be really important in your business because you will get a really great supply, the supplier that can get you some benefits such as warranty quality and a really great price to get a lot of machines and to, to make a, a competition with others. My panel will continue with the other step. Okay, the, the second step of our business is uh, a strategic uh, place. It is very important. Uh, we should look for um, uh, premising a uh, principal is a uh, shopping centers because in this place the people go to spend money and it's very it's interesting. Uh, we put our our company in this place. And it gives you visibility. What? It gives you visibility. Yes, and the people uh, go to spend money in that. That's right. <laughs> okay. okay, I think the best way is you really want to be success in uh in whatever. A business you need to look what is the best way to do that in this case you need to to me to do something different than the competition about the competition because <clears throat> in this kind of business you need to look a really great place that the people feel comfortable in that place and have a lot of benefits that you can for example uh, give the customers beverage or cigars because uh, everything has a relation with advice that the people decide to stay in that place and don't go to the other place because there are a lot of competition in that place. And I think it's very comfortable for you because you only, not hit, you only need to stay attention about the customer that can over exchange the, the dollar for coins and just that. It's true. It makes a difference, right? Especially <laughs> In a shopping center, in a mall, where everyone is just trying to give their money away, right? <laughs> it 
they spend money. Sometimes they don't even know why or what are they supposed to buy. They just go because they want to spend money, right? So that's a good point of location also. And that's a good strategy, like try to be different, right? What the others don't have. It's like a casino, but it's not a casino because you only have a slot machine. You don't have the rest of them. <laughs> Very good. Very yes, great. Teacher. And Eduard has a lot of experience in this game. Nice. <laughs> nice. So you're on the head to success. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you for sharing room number three. Okay. Because of the time, we're going to stop here. Um, we will be checking the other ones later. But for tonight, we're going to stop here. And I'm going to take attendance. So please be ready when I call your name. Okay. So we have um, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez, Dairo Jonathan Fuentes, Eduardo Antonio Magaña. <clears throat> Me. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Thank you. Fátima Gabriela Loza. Jonathan Jose González. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present. Thank you. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Miss. Thank you. Jose Cesar Lemo. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Carla Sofia Argueta. Present. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present. Thank you, Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Present. Thank you, Sandra Abigail Bonilla. And Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla, usted se quedó para asesoría. No. Okay. Okay, si se puede quedar, Carla, un par de minutos. Everybody else, you can go to sleep. Dígame. Eh, eh, I don't hear my name. Juan Carlos. ¿A quién fue que mencioné? Next, oh, next mencioné Juan José Herrera. Aquí Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. It's my, it's Thank it's my you. worker. Ok. Me lo salté, me lo salté, lo siento. Pero sí, ya, ya está, Juan Carlos. Thank you. Okay. All right, everybody, have a good night. Get some rest, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great Wednesday tomorrow. <laughs> okay, Bye. thank you, teacher. Good night, have a great miss. day Bye. tomorrow, guys. Good night, teacher. Tomorrow. Good night. Have a great day tomorrow. Listo, ya lo removí. Ok, ¿qué tal, Carlos? ¿Cómo está? Bien. Ok, le comento, estos minutos son para que el alumno nos diga si hay algún tema que quiere reforzar, algo que quizás yo no explique bien, que no se entendiera, o solo si tiene algún comentario en general. Eh, la tarea. Ok. Ay, eh, creo que me quedé... Ya le van a mostrar quién no puede armarla. No sé si el día que la hice, no, la verdad no volví a, a entrar. Ok, Di, me dice cuál es y la buscamos. Ya le, ya le. Solo lo intenté una vez hacerlo y luego ya no, no lo seguí. Ah, oh, no. Ah, ¿qué es el único uno? Esta, la número 1.7, no, no le, no entendí cómo. 1.7, estamos en la semana 1, que estamos hablando, ¿verdad? Sí, por ahí me quedé. Ok. Es que me he enfermado. Sí. Ok, no se preocupe, igual para es, justo para eso, esto, para ponerse el día. Eh, acá es buena respuesta, Carla. Yo le quiero tomar el screen y lo puedo ir viendo ahí. Ya, ya. Esas okay. son las cinco. Uh -huh. Sí, aquí están. Um, en la dos, yo sugeriría que le copie, copie y pegue tal cual las palabras de una en una, que se verifique los espacios y la puntuación. 
Porque algunos alumnos estaban diciendo que no se las tomaba, aunque les, les escribían bien, pero que no se las tomaba bien. Si al final a usted no se la toma bien, so si solo es esa, así déjela, no importa, porque no le va a afectar. Pero ajá, si tiene este problema con alguna otra, me deja saber, ¿ok? All right. No sé si hay alguna otra, Carla. Las de ahora las la, la pudo ver. Sí, 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 las logré ver. Ok. Sí. Eh, Creo que vaya, sería... Ok. La um, tarea de jueves y viernes que corresponden a hoy y mañana, las vamos a resolver mañana en la clase. Así como dice ahora el inicio. Ah, ok. Y el midterm exam al final de la clase para que lo puedan, puedan ir avanzando. Porque uh -huh. si sí, hay varios que están atrasados en eso y pues no quiero que nos agarre la tarde y al final, ay, no lo he terminado, no me puedo pasar al otro módulo. Entonces, sí. mejor irlo avanzando temprano. Yo en esa fue que me quedé y como ya después ya, a veces sí. tengo que seguir trabajando después. Y igual, eh, siempre cuando estamos en la clase, cuando yo estoy revisando lo de las tareas cada semana, si hay alguna con la que usted tiene atrás, siempre déjeme saber y la revisamos, aunque sea de una semana anterior para allá, ¿eh? Okay. Eso sería todo, entonces ya se puede desconectar, sí. Carlos. Que tenga feliz noche, la veo mañana. Gracias, buenas noches. Buenas noches, bye. Adiós.